In this tutorial in CyberLink Photo Director, we're going to give you an overview of how to manage your photos in any of your projects. I often find that I either organize the photos or I waste a lot of time looking for them. This is where this helps a lot. So you can begin to organize your resources so you can save time when you're pulling together a project. When you pull photos into this, you have several subcategories on the left panel. You can make the panel appear or disappear by clicking on the triangle on the left side. Here are the subcategories that default when we load anything into our project. First is Smart Collection. I'm going to click on that. It breaks it down into all photos. These are all photos that are currently in my project that I've pulled in so far. Ones that I've recently edited, I have nine in there. I have latest imports, one star or better, five stars, those I've gotten from the cloud, and those that are marked as rejected. As I click on any of these categories, let me click on the other display where we get to see them. And here are all of them in this particular project. I click on all photos, all 11 will be displayed down here. Recently edited, now I have nine. And it tells me below what's displayed. One selected, nine displayed. Latest imports, there are two of them. One star or better, I have three. Five stars, none. None from the cloud and none rejected. This is automatic. So this will be updated as you edit, delete, and change things in your project. So that's the smart collection. The, then there's a collection called folders. When I click on folders, this shows me all of the folders where all of the images I have. I have 11 of them and they come from different locations. And I can click anywhere here and I will see what picture came out of what folder in my file system. Here in this one I have two. Here in this one I have two. Uh, here in this one I have one. So this helps me locate it. I could actually go uh, in my file system and find that file. I say, oh, there's another one in there I need and pull it out. So this tells you where the resources came from. Then you have another subcategory called calendar view. This will give you the, the date on the date stamp on that particular image. So I have 1 in 26, 3 in 2012, 5 in 2018. And so I say, well, I know about when this was. And so this gives me the year. The next one is called albums. Now it starts out blank and you can create your own by clicking on the plus. We'll get into more of these details later, but I created one and I called it test two. I put these images in that file. If you want to add something to the album, let me go to my all photos down here and I'll go to my album test two. All I need to do to add one to it is simply drag and drop. And now I added that to my test two. So you can create as many unique albums as you like. Another way in which you can view your resources is through tags. I'll click on the tag here. Now, whenever you pull in an element, especially when you use them from the stock photos, it will have a whole bunch of tags. Some have 15, 20 or more tags on the same graphic image. And then it will give you how many have that tag. Now, a lot of these here are tags from images I pulled in but I deleted. You see all the zeros. But there are several that uh, I have tagged, like Studio Hardware. That gives me this one here. Israel. That gives me two here. So the more you tag, the more this will be useful. Otherwise, it won't be very valuable. But you might want to tag them by a job, by a date, by a customer, however you desire. But the, the, the tags are useful. Also, we have one called Faces. And uh, I only have one that I've done so far. I call it Fred. Click over here. And here is my photograph with Fred's face on it. And so if you tag faces, that's a different element we'll look at. It gives you the opportunity to see exactly uh, where that person appears in your collection of your video images, your photographs. So that's a little bit about using this panel here to identify, locate, and isolate the various images that you might want to use in your project. When you're in the project, there's lots that you can do down here in order to tag and mark different images that you pull in. We'll show you how to do that in another tutorial.